the day or give us a call. 530-8003. That's 530-8003. Jessup Premium Storage. The cool clean is kick. Are you thinking of buying or selling your home? This is Kelly Lamb with Parker Insurance Realty, your local source for all of your real estate needs. With this being one of the most important decisions you'll make in your lifetime, I would like to use my expertise to personally assist you through this process. At Parker Insurance Realty, we offer a full range of real estate services, as well as any insurance you may need. Give me a call or stop by and let me answer any questions you have on selling your home or purchasing your new home. Call Kelly at Parker Insurance Realty, 427-9345. That's 427-9345. And good morning. You're listening to the Big Dog WIFO FM in Jessup 105.5 on your FM dial. It's uh, well, it's a Wednesday morning, 29th day of June, two minutes after eight o'clock. Currently here in southeast Georgia, we have 73 degrees, 60 percent chance of showers a day. Not quite as hot today. High today near 90. The Autumn Harbor Dolls at um, 3.6 feet and pretty much steady. It is now time for the world famous Butch and Bob Show, brought to you by Drury Diesel in downtown Jessup, Parker Insurance and Realty on Macon Street. And by uh, Mike Birch Ford and Black Cheer and Jessup Premium Storage out here on the Way Cross Highway. And we got a bunch of folks in here this morning from the Wayne County High School Cross Country team. In addition to that, we've got Tom in here from almost everything. Good morning, Tom. Good morning, guys. Let me get your mic over here. There you go. How you doing today? We're having a great day. Appreciate y'all having us on. All right, Tom. Now, uh, you started some ads uh, here on the radio station about a uh, fireworks um, a location that you started here in town. Tell us uh, what's going on and how you're helping the Wayne County High School cross-country team. Guys, I'm really proud to be associated with the Wayne High School uh, cross-country boosters. And you guys got some gems here that I, I really, they're not much talking about their sales, but man, you've got a great coach, um, Wayne Broadhead, his wife, Kathy, um, a lot of people don't know this. Uh, Wayne was a NAIA. He was on a national championship cross country team. He was a world class runner, um, super super coach. And how I got to know Wayne, I actually, you know, was from Glen County and, and knew nothing about cross country. And my kid was uh, active, and he was such a great guy that uh, even with me being associated with Brunswick High and helping out with that team, he 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 offered every. Uh, Anything and everything that I asked of him, he, he would share. Um, super, super um, guy, uh, coaches out there, all coaches, baseball coaches, football coaches. Listen, this guy needs some help. I want to help him. Um, if you don't want to buy any fireworks, man, so be it. Come by and, 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 and write us a check. Um, we've also got some closeouts over there that we're selling. Uh, Tell us a little bit about your fireworks location and, um, and why you decided to start it, where it's at, and things of that sort, and how you're helping the uh, Wayne County Cross Country Boosters Club. Butch, your community here is nothing short of outstanding. The people from southeast Georgia all over, man, I made one phone call, one phone call to the gentleman that owns Georgia's Best Fireworks, and he said, how can I help? And I said, man, we want to get a fundraiser for the cross country team. Our coach is um, um, beautiful but aging, and he, he, <laughs> Wait, he, aren't um, we all, Tom? Aren't we all? <laughs> that's it. And listen, he didn't like me to use the word "blown out his knee," and he, he's not one to say that he's injured, but he's severely injured. He he can't run like he used to. The, the bike hurts him. We want to get him a first class, butch, first class golf cart, and man, we want to help these intelligent kids that have this discipline to run year round and. Um, I want to help the program. So I made a phone call to George's Best Fireworks. Uh, he said, man, what do you need? I said, I want to raise some money. Man, he's given us um, all the product that we need. Um, we're getting 100% profit on, on some stuff all the way down. He's going to take care of us. So 100% of the proceeds of some of the sales are going directly yeah, to it. And then other, uh, other listen, ones are going to your cost. Okay. Absolutely. And uh, 655 East Pine Street, little hole in the wall that Mr. Don Wellens uh, let us have. And thanks, Don. Um, been great. We're uh, selling over there a little hole in the wall can. Uh, we worked so, so hard. And listen, one of the great things about your community is we've got a Marine Lance Corporal graduate from 2011, was on the cross country team, Corporal Javante uh, B. Latimer. Man, he came out there yesterday. He helped us get the banner up. Man, worked like a dog. Listen, son, I really appreciate it. I got chill bumps talking about it. I appreciate your service. I appreciate what you do, and I appreciate what you did yesterday. Well, tell us his name again. Javante Latimer. Did he graduated when? 2011 graduating class. And he's going where now? Son, where are you at now? 
Right now, I'm in uh, Beaufort, South Carolina. I just came back from Okinawa, Japan. I was over there for two years. Mm -hmm. So uh, right now, I'm going to be stationed in uh, Beaufort, South Carolina. Are you in the Marines? Yes, sir. Did you go through Paris Island? Yes, I did, sir. What time of year? Um, I went in uh, 2013. Oh, on your basic training, what time of the year did you go through? Um, it was like around April April 8th of 2013. That's where I went. Okay, so you went into the summer. Bless your heart. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I can stand that. <laughs> Oh, yeah. oh, we got sand hats here. So if you grew up here, you were used to oh, yeah. it, but not as bad on the coast. Oh, not, not, not as, bad. as bad as Brunswick. Yeah, Mac, I mean, uh, uh, Bob can tell you all about the sand hats over in Brunswick, can't you, Bob? Yeah, do a game over there. <laughs> <laughs> Bob, I want you to know we had so many other folks uh, come out and help. Um, another um, uh, person, Allie Hall, uh, Wayne County High School uh, attendee, she did the, the super, super banner and, and posters. I want to thank all the people at Jones's Kitchen for uh, letting us put up a poster. Carol, Christy, Gail, Sherry, thank you for, for putting up with us. Uh, man, the River Rats guy across the street, Tom, um, he's got a great first name, Tom. He, uh, <laughs> listen, man, he saw us sweating over there yesterday. He came over and helped us put up the sign in, 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 in a thunderstorm. Man, I appreciate it very, very much. Um, Listen, Mona Thompson Phillips has worked her butt off. We're trying to get the, uh, the, the computer set up. We're going to take credit cards, folks. Yes, credit cards. Don't have any money? Bring a dadgum credit card. We'll show you how to use it. Mm -hmm. um, Lisa Lanham, thank you. Don't bring yours. Bring somebody else's. You'll take it. Uh, absolutely. <laughs> Bob, when I saw you over there um, at the restaurant Sunday at Sybil's, um, James came over. James is going to help us um, at Sybil's. Thank you so much. Um, and I'm telling you guys, if you're a coach, I don't care at what level, um, we need your help. Listen, please support us. Um, fireworks, we got stuff from a dollar ninety nine fifty nine cents on up. Uh, uh, tell us about the fireworks that are being able to be sold in Georgia now versus a couple of years ago. What would you be able to offer? What are you offering? Butch, thank you so much. Listen, these are the bad boys. So let's go up to sixty grams, which is uh, the great big mortars. We got uh, cakes. Um, we got. Assortments for kids, the safe and sane. If, if you don't want the heavy stuff, so be it. We got all kinds of stuff. Unbelievable variety. It's like It'll, Joe Dirt said to the uh, to the Native American and Joe uh, Joe Dirt in the movie said, "You've got the good stuff." Oh my gosh! And what a variety! <laughs> Listen, anything else is a phone call away. Got a special request? Call us. Hey, he will deliver it. He's got to keep us supplied. We got mortars. We got multi shots. We got Roman candles, skyrockets unbelievable butch we have so much stuff it's hard to get in a 20-foot can we had to bring in another storage facility uh derek landon thank you at landon's for bringing uh, everything down um guys yeah, derek landon does a good job of moving stuff unbelievable appreciate it him and hunter do do a super super job and listen uh, don't forget about the closeouts we got closeouts over there that sell for 14.99 at stores all over southeast Georgia. we're selling for six dollars butch we got mats um, novelty mats over there, uh, Bass Pro Shop, uh, Gander Mountain, all that kind of stuff, less than half of retail. There Where do you again, get all, all that problems. kind of stuff? Listen, man, unfortunately. I know you can find bargains. It, it, it's sad. I've been doing this for a long time uh, in southeast Georgia, um, formerly the Brunswick Flea and Farmers Market, the Jacksonville Antique Mall in Jacksonville, Florida. Um, man, and I've now got almost friends. everything here in, uh, in Jessup. Uh, almost everything here in Jessup. Mm -hmm. um, look, I'm proud to be able to make it here. I appreciate that uh, the folks in, in Wayne County supporting me and I want to give back. And listen, all these people here in front of me, um, the Broadheads, um, Mr. Latimer, uh, Jody with the Booster Club, you guys have a special, special place. This community comes together, whatever it needs something. And hey, I'm glad to be a part of it and I want to give back. Your community is unbelievable. This radio station is tied to the community. It's you got a special place, guys. You got a special place to raise children, and I'm just glad to be a part of it. Kathy, I don't want to suck all the oxygen out of the room. Fireworks, guys. Georgia's best fireworks. Literally, Georgia's best, literally and figuratively. Um, it is. Have you opened yet? Yes, sir. We're ready You're to take in here. money. We're trying to get the computer online today for the barcode so we can okay. make it faster. If we get backed up with people, uh, we're going to do our best, folks. Come early, come late. Listen. I am camping out over there. Don't laugh. Camping out in the back. If you want to do business at 12 o'clock at night, man, wake me up. Hey, I will come over there. Um, again, thanks again for uh, having us on. Um, Kathy, I want to turn it over to you. Uh, Kathy Broadhead was over there in the sun working her butt off. The poor thing is sunburnt. I want her to talk about your great course. 
Butch, did you know that you have something really, really special here? Besides all what we're talking about, you know you got something special? Okay, uh, you said you had the good stuff, right? Well, we got the good stuff, but I want to talk about something special first. Besides you and Bob, you know you got something special. I know, special. but before we move on yes, to, the, uh, to the calls, all right, here is Joe Dirt asking Tom if he's got the good stuff. All right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here's Joe Dirt asking Tom if he's got the good stuff. Yeah, all right, here we go. So you're going to tell me that you don't have no black cats, no rolling candles or screaming memes? No. Oh, come on, man. You don't got no lady fingers, buzz buttles, snicker bombs, church burners, finger blasters, gut busters, zippity doo dahs, crap flappers? No, I don't. You're going to stand there owning a fireworks stand and tell me you don't have no whistling bungholes, no spleen splitters, whisker biscuits, honky lighters, husker do's, husker don'ts, cherub bombs, nips and dazers, with or without the scooter stick, or one single whistling kitty chaser? No. Because snakes and sparklers are the only ones I like. <laughs> so job. Tom took Joe Dirt's advice to heart. He's got all that stuff. <laughs> and I appreciate Jonathan putting that up here for us real quick. Like, <laughs> Listen, real quick, I'm going to turn to Miss Kathy. You guys got something special here, Bob. You guys got the only, the only, only cross-country course everybody wants to come back to. It has a deer stand on it. Yes. <laughs> a deer stand. That is the reason why our cross country team is so fast, because they never know when a hunter's going to be up there. <laughs> I'm going to tell you, when those kids come over from Glen County, from Glen Academy and Brunswick High, they are amazed at the deer stand. Listen, <laughs> you see everybody's That's health. pick off the competition, right? <laughs> I'm, I'm going to fade in the background. Georgia's best fireworks, fireworks at his best. Please come support us. Come early, come, come late. Um, Please help us. Help Wayne Broadhead and Kathy Broadhead. Um, and uh, what's the address again? 655 East Pine Street by the number two fire station, Bud. Okay, number two fire station right next to it across from um, from River Rats. And do you have a phone number yet there? Yeah. You know, sir, I wish we did. Um, if you guys can remember the local number, uh, 636, that's a joke, 636-402-8194. That's my Missouri cell phone. Okay. And I appreciate it. And listen, Kathy, I want you to talk about this fine program. Listen, these guys got character. Um, they're not going to talk about themselves. They're hardworking. Please support them. Please, please, please. It's a worthy cause. Miss Kathy, I'm going to turn it over to you. Someone just uh, text in. If you got a question or comment for the Butch and Bob, so you can always text in our main studio and business line, 912-427-3711, 912-427-3711. And someone just texted in, love it, love it, love it. Yeah, it's, it's a former runner. That yeah. is our saying. When, we, when, we, when they finish practice every day or meet, um, that's one thing coaches have them to do. The kids all stack hands on top of his, and they say, we love it, we love it, we love it. So that's somebody that knows our program well there that's, um, that's, that's speaking. But we have an awesome course. Uh, when we first came to Wayne County, of course, there wasn't even a cross-country program in the county. Um, we got here a little bit too late the first year to actually start the program. This is when Coach Barbara struck off. Was so what year was this? Uh, yeah, 2005. 2005. Oh, 2005. Yeah, so it's a little bit too well, late. Right, this is 11 years ago. Yeah, okay. 11 years ago is when we actually moved here. Okay. And uh, Coach struck off was AD then. Uh, we weren't able to start the program that year, but the next year we just started the high school. And at that time, our course <laughs> consisted of running in the bus loop and back behind the schools, uh, Martha Puckett and, and the high school. Um, we had that course, I think, for two years before we actually moved across the, ha the street to where we are now. Uh, we just at the tennis courts. We were there before the tennis courts, developed the, the course over there. We had a riding lawnmower that Coach and I and our sons took over there and went over the pine humps back in the woods mm -hmm. to cutting down. Um, tore up our lawnmower that year. That sure year. You did. <laughs> <laughs> You're all made to go through the woods now. I'd, I'd get the lawnmower on top of the hill and Coach would have to push it over to go down because there were so many back there. But it was we had a great time doing that. Um, we have hosted out of the 10 years that we've had the course, the, the teams here, we have hosted region four times. Wow. This coming year will be our fifth year hosting region. That must be we have one of the top uh, courses in the, in the district. A lot right? of the high schools region. don't even have courses. Mm -hmm. Um, they come here, they come once, they love it. We get emails from the coaches. Some of the coaches have even called the school and said how much they appreciate 
the um, the, the course that we have and the. Where did you get those big piles of dirt that you have to run over there that make it look like you're going uphill since we're in a flat we, area? We have an awesome board board members and awesome maintenance that actually come out and, and put those hills in. We had one added, then we had another, and now we now have three, three hills. That's, 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 that's about enough for before. the kids. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, here they come again. Uh, yeah. you know about those? You've been on that course? Oh, yeah, I've been on that course. You've been on that course? Not in the last three years, I hadn't. Amen. But I have run it before. A few times. Well, last year, last year they asked me if I wanted one more hill, and I couldn't figure out a place to put it. So yeah, <laughs> basically the the, the, the cross country course of folks who people might not know is right next to the high school. It basically goes around the tennis courts, goes in through the woods and back around, and then on the front side of the tennis courts, and then over the three hills, and then back around. Yes, sir. It's, it's a double loop. Um, a lot of the meets that we go to away, you may have six or seven, maybe eight teams at tops that mm -hmm. attend the meets. At our home meets, normally we'll have anywhere from 13 to 16 teams. We get there, we show up the day, and buses start pulling in. We don't even know we're coming to our meets. Wow. Um, I do want to put in one thing also. Oki Finoki EMS um, Vic, and Vic Jotti, I have called them, and they have been every single meet that we've ever had. Um, I'm always afraid that we're going to have something to happen to one of our, our runners mm -hmm. and and the heat here has been a lot and with okie finoki ems out there if something happens to runner we've had them pass out we've had you know twisted ankles and that type thing they go straight to the the, the trucks and they take care of them mm -hmm. and i we appreciate that because it takes a lot off of us as coaches as my husband is coach and as director um to do this also would want to put a Quick plug in for Coach Andy Blaylock at Martha Puckett. He has been the coach over there um, for our cross country team. Fills in this morning. Our kids are out running already at eight o'clock this morning. Um, they were they met at our house and they run out five miles, I believe it is. And Andy covers for us when we're not able to do that. But we do have awesome runners. Um, I call them my kids. I get emotional when I talk about them because they are mine. I mean, yeah. Devante, and you know, we go back years with a lot of our kids and our parents. We've had awesome booster club that supported the team and the kids. We have our running camp. This is our ninth year of running camp. We go to Stone Mountain every year for one week. Um, in the morning, the kids run around the mountain. I've run around that mountain uh, before when I was at the University of Georgia. It's um, <laughs> quite an experience. It's... Now, Bob has run up the mountain before. <laughs> <laughs> I would roll down the mountain now. That's all I could do. When Bob was um, up there at Stone Mountain High School, they used to go up the mountain, down the mountain. Yep. <laughs> well, I grew up in Decatur, so I was I'm familiar with, with Stone Mountain. But they run the five miles around the mountain in the morning. And then at night, they run up the mountain, so they're getting at least eight miles a day in. Mm -hmm. um, our booster club has basically supported this um, for the kids. Stone Mountain Running Camp has really got us to state um, the years that we've gone. As we all know, here in South Georgia, we're flat as a flitter, and we don't have hills. Right. So Stone Mountain well, provides Well, you can go success. out next to the river, you know. There's yeah, some, there's, there's some hills out there. If you go down to Orbethorpe right. Road, there's, there's places we you do. can find, but you got to go hunt for them. We go to JC, uh, not, uh, Pig Farm Landing. Pig, I call Farm, it. Pig Landing. Farm Oglethorpe Landing. We go yeah. up there on Monday mornings right now mm -hmm. during the summer and run out there. And they are, so they're getting a little bit of hills, but yeah, not. But you got to go look for them. Not like in you town. do. They're not just right in front of you. Unless you want to run over the overpass up there on 301. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about that one now. And Jody Swank is our president of our booster club. Um, like I said, we've got a tremendous club anytime. We, we're fortunate in that we've got some parents that are really good helpers mm -hmm. um, and workers and support our kids in the, in the program that we have. And we appreciate that tremendously. All right, we got the broadheads in here. We got Tom in here from almost everything. And they're talking about uh, the uh, Wayne County High School Boosters Club for the cross country team. Just kind of kind of refocus right. over so people tune in and out. Okay, go ahead, y'all. Who's next? Let's go. Let's go to the booster first, right here. You can use that mic right here. There you go, and go back around over that way. All right, and introduce yourself. My name is Jody Swank. I'm the vice president of the Wayne County Cross Country Booster Club. President now. Oh, we started off as my, started off as vice president. And you've got a sorry. kid, I guess, running or yes, or I, have, I have a son. He's a senior this year. He came into this as a newbie, as a freshman. Oh, okay. As, four as years. we called, called him a couch potato, barely could run the course. <laughs> <laughs> We didn't Did you model around the first time? <laughs> he, it was rough. It, it was, was rough. rough. But, you know, as as our saying with cross country, we, we love it. We love it. We love it. I sure wish we'd have had cross country here when I was here at Wayne County here. Where were you then, Coach? You're probably as cool like I was at the time. <laughs> <laughs> but you're the 
hair older than I am. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I wish we'd have had cross country back then, but oh, we did. No, Go ahead. <laughs> and as with all of our kids on cross country, hard work and dedication pays off. And as my child had to prove that to himself, <laughs> not to anybody else, uh -huh. freshman year that. Hard work and dedication paid off, and we have a wonderful, wonderful group of kids across country, and they all are very, very dedicated. High GPAs, guys. Yes. Uh, high, yeah. guys. high GPAs. High yes. GPAs. Okay. So, uh, so you're involved in this. You're vice president last year and president this year. What all does the Booster Club do for the cross country team here at Wayne County High School? We go out within the community and try to help raise money so that these kids could do trips as well as like the. Uh, stone mountain running camps or different things through the seasons that they may need you know to help supply buy shirts different things their yeah. jacket their letterman's I jackets get one of the <laughs> <laughs> but, yes but we we raise money to help buy things for the kids so that the kids don't have to and the parents don't have to come out of pocket for everything for their children okay all right sounds good all right and uh so uh coach when does uh, uh season begin this year and how can kids get involved with Wayne County High School um, cross country team? Well, officially, officially we'll begin August 1st, but uh, I got to say, instead of running July to win in November, it's one of the few uh, sports where you got to, the things you do today, you don't see the benefits for three months down the road. So it's it's uh, not a instant gratification kind of thing. You got to plan ahead. And that's why if I'm seeking out new new runners, I, I look at uh, kids that excel in the classroom. If you're going to have the dedication to make straight A's, you can have the dedication to do what, what we need to do here. I, I can teach you to run, but I can't teach you to have the patience and the foresight to know that what I do now is going to help me three months down the road. Well, Coach, I didn't have straight A's at Wayne County High School, but I did make B's <laughs> and a few A's once in a while. <laughs> well, not all my kids make straight A's, but uh, that's uh, that's our goal and I've always tried to teach them I said do the best you can in everything you do I said if you're out there digging a ditch be dig the best ditch you can dig mm -hmm. uh if you're in the classroom be the best student you could be if you're on the course be the best runner you could be and now so what I want to know on this uh, uh golf cart that you're going to get we all see you on the bicycle out there riding alongside of the runners and so forth now is this golf cart uh, uh, cart going to be gas powered and be able to keep up with the um with the runners or are you just going to get them started and wait for them to get back well I'm not really planning to replace the bicycle at this time but oh, okay. uh, but uh I want a gas powered golf cart like he's on race day uh, <laughs> uh, because <laughs> getting from Man, yes, sir. We'll take it down to the local shop and the, to Joey down there. We'll put a booster on it, man. What, uh, what, when my kids uh, run the meet, I see them six times during the race. And so uh, it's a little harder to get them points now. But if I had a golf cart, I could probably keep up those six points. <laughs> but uh, they, they don't get to go very far without seeing me on a race. Uh, yeah. Um, I just love the way that I've seen you out there before uh, on your bicycle alongside of those runners and helping them and encourage them and, you know, and, uh, and, and making sure they stay focused. Well, I appreciate it. Uh, one reason I invited Jamonte to come with us, he was uh, in the beginning when we first started here at Wayne County. He was with us in the beginning. He's with the first group that went to Stone Mountain. He's with the first group that qualified to make it to state. So he's one of the pioneers for us there. Uh, and uh, just wanted to, to bring him to let you know we do impact lives. We don't. Uh, Put the mic on. We don't. Uh, we okay. don't just uh, go out there and try to, to win cross country meets, which we've been fairly successful. We've won four region titles in a row. So isn't that amazing? So uh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> say ooh ah, Roger. <laughs> yeah. if, if I can, how do you say it again? Ooh ah, ooh ah, If I can win one more region title this coming year with the boys, that would uh, set a new uh, Wayne County School record of the most region titles won by. A single team. Wow. Hey, I, I, I tied Coach Struck off last year with her softball team, but. Uh, <laughs> we love you, Barbara. Back. Yeah. You're going for the goal. I'm going, going for the goal. Right. I'm going yes, for it. Listen, these folks don't like to talk about their sales. Uh, Bob, have you ever heard of a, a, a hoodlum runner in southeast Georgia named Daniel Broadhead? Does that ring any bells? Ooh. Yes, it is. That, is that. Is that. Uh, Putting money where your mouth is. Do you remember anything about this kid? I I, uh, I remember some guy flying through and everybody talking about this kid with a shaved head. I'm gonna turn it back over to Bob. He knows hey, more about that than I do. Good runner, of course. There's their son. Yeah, where's he at? Yeah, where is he now? Uh, Daniel's at the the University of Augusta right now. Um, he, he took two years off running to serve a mission for his church, and our church, I guess, I could call it. But uh, he um, he came back and uh, last year did not quite do as well as we with. We're planning. Uh, it took him a little bit of time to adjust back to, to normal life. Uh, he did. Uh, he ended up being third man on the team at Augusta. Now, where's that? 
Okay. It's in Augusta. Augusta, Georgia. <laughs> okay. No, I didn't, well, there's a lot of Augustas in the country, so I didn't know which one. Well, uh, you know, it's changed its name. It was Augusta State, then it was Regents, Georgia Regents, and uh, now it's gone uh, back to uh, University of Augusta. Okay. All right. So he's running up there with them going to school? Yeah, they held a scholarship for him for two years while he was gone. And uh, was, Where did he go? He went to Indiana. He served a two-year mission in Indiana. Oh, okay. And so uh, he got... I didn't know there was mission work in Indiana. <laughs> <laughs> well... I guess they're, they're everywhere. It's everywhere. I'm just, you know, you think of mission work. Well, he went overseas, but, you know, but he did good work in Indiana. Good. He did great work up there, and uh, he came back and uh, ended up being third man on the team in the fall for cross country, and and then uh, it started clicking again in the spring, and he ended up being their top runner in the spring. So, uh, well, that doesn't surprise me as good as he is. But we're hoping that he'll uh, set the bar right when he gets back this uh, this fall. We actually, I got him on pace this summer to – the first day they reported in the practice, they had to run a two-mile time trial, mm -hmm. and I got him uh, on pace to run a nine flat. Come on. That's smoking. Okay. Yeah. Do they still call it two miles, or is it 3,200? Uh, they do 3,200, but the, uh, I say two miles. Yeah, that's what, I, that's what you and I grew up with. So that's what we all call but, it. Uh, yeah. I know my senior year, where they were starting to, in, my senior year in, in college, they were starting to switch to the metric, and, and we had to run the 1,500 meters the, the last meet of my senior year. And Daniel finally broke one of my times and beat my 1500 every time this past season. Uh, he ran a 403, which is equivalent wow. to about a 420 mile. Yeah. And uh, my fastest was, was a 405. So he's he stepped ahead of me. He still hasn't beat me at another distance. I got uh, uh, the 922 mile that he's got to beat this year, which he'll beat very easily. Okay. And then the longer stuff, he'll, he'll take a while because uh, I got a 222 marathon under me and it's going to take him a while to get to that. Yeah. Well, Bob, you know, ran in a track up at the, the Stone Mountain High School when he was up there. Uh, Randy Franks, he used to be the uh, county extension agent. He was a real good runner from, Tif uh, from Tifton back when he was in high school. So we got uh, several of them around, but it's good to see the cross country team doing good. And going. So how do you actually, you say you recruit, I know you recruit by grade, but do you see uh, by grades, but I know you look at other things. How do you recruit these kids to come out there to get on the cross country team? Well, sometimes it's a hard sell because, I mean, who wants to go out and, uh, you know, 99, <laughs> 99 degrees and go run five or six miles? You get uh, up early, that's what you do. But, uh, but it's uh, we've had a lot come through and run one day and we never see them again. But uh, we uh, we got a, a good core. Uh, I should have this season about fourteen boys and and eight or nine girls. It's great to see the girls out there doing it too. Yeah. And you, you had one girl there that gra just graduated a couple of years ago. She did real well for a long time, didn't she? She did well. Uh, it was uh, kind of sad, but for three or four years she was there. She didn't have any teammates. <laughs> <laughs> no, she's the only girl out there. You know? Here comes the girl. But uh, we've, we've got a good crew coming up. Her night. name was Miracle. Miracle, Miracle Stanley. Stanley, right. I mean, th what helps me the most uh, in recruiting is, is the middle school feeder program. Uh, the kids get hooked into the, yes. the middle school program. and, and uh, Who are the coaches there? Uh, Andy Blaylock is at Martha Puckett, and uh, Rob Young is at uh, Arthur Williams. And uh, they both are outstanding uh, gentlemen that uh, – highly support my program they they encourage the kids to keep running and come out we intermix a lot during the season where they come out and run with us uh at max yesterday at my practice i had four uh martha puckett uh, people there i would have had and one from martha Williams. he was playing baseball yesterday so, <laughs> so uh, i know that you're probably keeping up and bob had a, re a report on this morning on the, on the track bob tell us where the, the the latest report last night was on the track for wayne county high school I said the school system just wants to do something with the current track. Just, just to, redo the current know, track. Just do okay. something to just, you know. Your suggestions on that, okay. Coach? Anything? Um, on the current track. We don't have the money for a new ones. We have to stay with the old one. How do we resurface that where it can still stand up against the pounding of a football game, but also be good for track? Well, the only way it's going to be useful for us is if they get a rubberized material that uh, we can actually put spikes on and, and run uh, because the current situation spikes don't do a whole lot of good no no it's 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 a it's a road <laughs> yeah. and they're gonna have to get a place to practice high jump they're gonna have to get a place to practice the discus and, and those kind of things uh so we had all that out there at the football field when i was here but then of course it was taken away through the years because i guess it took up too much space or something yeah. and one thing i would love to see is, is get a, a legal uh pole vault pit because the the rules in georgia change every year and and you have to have certain requirements and if you don't meet the requirements you're not allowed to pole vault uh, I know that a couple of years back, you know, what, six, seven years ago, we had two different pole vaulters score at state meet. 
But okay. uh, someone just texted in the broadheads are always donating their time to help uh, the. Um, uh, I can't read that in this town. Always helping the uh, folks in this town, and I hope everyone pulls together to help them um, uh, raise funds for this golf cart for the coach and support the cross country team as they come knocking on the door throughout the course of the year. When Kathy comes there and says, "We need some hail," <laughs> <laughs> it's not hail. That's what it is. It's here, Jessup, Wayne County hail. Hey, we got to make a three syllable word out of a one syllable word here. <laughs> but I'm, we do love Wayne County. Um, we've got tremendous support, like we said, from the athletes, from the schools, from the system, um, from our parents. We love it. Um, I don't run with the kids, but I am out there probably 99% of the practices. Um, we've got just some, some awesome people here in Wayne County, and it's been tremendous to watch the support and, you know, that, that we have from the community. All right. And what what do you do next? Uh, how are you home right now, and where do you go to next? Uh, well, right now I'm just uh, home for like, well, uh, like a few days with my uh, my uh, a few weeks actually with my uh, my father uh, named Barry Latimer. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, I'm just home for a few days, and then I'm, I'm going to go back to South Carolina. I'm on a leave period right now, just coming back from Okinawa. So then, like I said, I've been over there for two years. Mm -hmm. I'm going to come back and stay with my father and uh, my stepmom, uh, my little sister, for a little bit. And then I'm heading back, to, heading on to South Carolina, the wing unit over there, right there. It's close to uh, Paris Island, so mm -hmm. right there about uh, the bread and butter of where it all began in right. 1745. Like, Right there. Now, when, uh, what do you do next? I mean, what's your rank right now? I know you've only been in for a couple of years. So. Oh, I'm actually uh, a Lance Corporal. You're right a Lance now. Corporal now. And have you seen any action anywhere? Have you been overseas other than Okinawa? Uh, I know that's a, a base there, but anywhere in the Middle East? Oh, yeah. Um, things happen every day. Um, so I tell my dad uh, this a lot. Uh, the, thing, the things that's, like, that's being put on the media is, you know, a lot of it is being missed. Mm -hmm. with the Marines, sailors, and uh, soldiers, and the Air Force that's going out there actually doing missions to, you know, help with tragedies such as, you know, uh, tsunamis that hits over their mainland, mm -hmm. or, you know, you have typhoons that hit in mainland, or in the, even uh, South Korea, when they uh, when they got that uh, big tropical storm, like, last year, September. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah, there's a lot of stuff that goes on. Like, we're really specialized in, like, helping, uh, you know, supporting um, tragedies that's, uh, that's out there in the Middle East. Um, it's a lot of a lot of things that goes on over there. Now, will you uh, stay there in South Carolina for a while? Do you know what your next uh, assignment may be, or yes, do they uh, just let you know at the last minute? Yes, right now I'm uh, I'm a heavy equipment operator in the Marine Corps, so um, I deal with the like the uh, the back hose, the right. moving gear, and the cranes and whatnot. I'm going to be over there for two years, and I'm getting ready actually get ready to um, re-enlist my whole my whole package over, so I can um, extend. I'm pl I'm planning on doing 20 plus years in. That's smart. Oh yeah, and make it to try to make a career out of it. Mm -hmm. You know, it's really not a lot to do. You know, here uh, in Jessup, but right. I, actually, I'm glad I actually did uh, went to you know Wayne County High School and got onto the you know the track team with Coach Brian and, and Coach Kathy, and um, you know, and also did the um, from cross country from the high school went straight to you know got a you know small scholarship to go to, uh, run with uh, South Georgia State College okay. you know, for uh, two years, and then after two years, I just I decided to you know I wanted something better, I wanted more. Um, and I, I joined the Marine Corps thanks to uh, Staff Sergeant uh, Haynes um, that helped me out a lot to, you know, recruit me. Okay. And, uh, Coach, uh, it, I think that you know, if, if, the, if the Marines wanted to make some extra money, they could put on a fitness camp during the summer because he's ripped. <laughs> <laughs> I try. I'm trying. He is ripped. <laughs> well, I try to prepare my kids to do, uh, have to lead me to do whatever they choose. and. Uh, if they choose to go the, the Marines, we, we get them ready. Okay. Well, we're, about, we're out of time here. But once again, Tom, let's talk about the fundraiser, your location. So, folks, go help the, out the Wayne County High School Cross Country Team. Butch, thanks again. Listen, guys, whether you're, your kid's going to be a Marine, a doctor, whatever, you got a class, class program here. You got a class community. Listen, this is not taxpayer funded. We're trying to uh, do this ourselves. Please spend your fireworks dollars with us. Everybody don't come at one time. This is our first experience uh, with, with uh, Get on the down system. There. That's it. But overwhelm them. Overwhelm them. We got an unbelievable variety. We'll get anything you want. We've got extremely competitive prices. Um, you guys come see us. Uh, fireworks at its best. Georgia, Georgia's best fireworks. Thank you. Um, Wayne County, thank you in advance. Help us do something special for this class program. Uh, these kids, listen, if you can get your kids involved in cross country, 
um, not just the coaching. Um, me and Javante, me and I got chills in my bumps uh, on, on my skin talking uh, about you and what I saw how you worked yesterday. Guys, discipline in running. Uh, Butch, you guys know all about it. Um, thanks again, guys, for having us. Let's raise some money, guys, for uh, Wayne County High School Cross Country Boosters. And I appreciate everybody that's helped us and appreciate everybody uh, in advance. Thank you so much. All right, then Georgia's Best Fireworks now open next to number two fire station on East Pine Street across from River Rats. River Rats. Okay. Appreciate you call y'all coming in today. Anytime that we can help out the cross country team, y'all get back on on here and let's talk about them, okay? Bob, anything, anything else? Nope. All right. All right. The world famous. Uh, love it, love it, love it. All right. The world famous Butch and Bob.